Chinchavillo, I am honored to announce that members of the graduating class, the faculty and staff of Chapman University, and representation of Board of Trustees and Administration are now present. All are gathered here for the class of 2022 commencement of the Dale E. Fowler School of Law. Thank you, Professor Binder. Welcome to you all. Please stand to face the flag in the back of the field as we listen to our national anthem. And please remain standing for the invocation given by Sheikh Jibril Spate. morning. My name is Jabril Spate. I'm an educational chaplain at the Fish at the Face Center. My primary concern is upholding the spiritual pillar of Chapman University, including offering a prayer to my beloved soon-to-be uh, Chapman alumni and fellow legal community members. Most or perhaps all of you are concerned about three major things paying your student loans, passing a bar, and beginning your legal career. I ask you to listen uh, to my prayer, and uh, it won't be half an hour, okay? All right, I ask you to listen to my prayer. Perhaps you might find it beneficial. Yes, may you find ease paying your student loans, if you have any. And may you pass the bar exam. May your legal studies be a solid foundation to build your career and life in a meaningful manner, augmenting your strengths while improving your weaknesses. May you be an ethical legal practitioner, demonstrating good morals and manners, never compromising your humanity and being a trustworthy, knowledgeable advocate for your clients. May you never succumb to the pressures and demands of being a legal practitioner. Instead, may you have a strong desire to learn more about the law to serve humanity sincerely. May you learn humility when you win a case and the ability to critique yourselves honestly when you do not. May you succeed in understanding the letter of the law and its spirit, properly balancing both. May you become legal scholars, shining a light on the importance of law in our societies, explaining straightforwardly to all and seeking to improve the legal system. May you have an ongoing healthy relationship with your professors. May you always show respect, gratitude, mercy, and love to those who have shown you the same during your journey. May you exit Chapman ready and focus on taking on the legal issues awaiting you. And finally, may you, your families, Fowler's faculty, Fowler's staff, and Chapman University be a blessing to all. Now in Arabic we say Amin, which means, oh God, accept it. For those of you, let it be so, or amen, or amen, 
whatever language you wish to use. Regardless, we ask that the prayer is accepted. Would you please take your seat? Thank you, Sheikh Spait. Good morning and welcome everyone to the commencement ceremony of the Dale E. Fowler School of Law Class of 2022 at Chapman University. My name is Marisa Chancharulo and it is my honor and delight to serve as the interim dean of the Fowler School of Law. On stage with me are Chapman University Provost Norma Bouchard, members of the administration, and student leaders of the Fowler School of Law. We're also honored to have with us Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Parker Kennedy, Vice President of Legal Affairs and General Counsel for Chapman University, Janine Dumontel, and Executive Vice President and Chief Advancement Officer, Matt Parlow. Thank you all for being here to support our graduates. It is with great pleasure that I now announce the 2022 valedictorian and the recipient of the Carmelita Doty Academic Excellence Award. This award is given to the graduating student who has achieved the highest cumulative academic record of the class, Nathan Quello. I'm now going to announce uh, the rest of the 2022 academic honors and I will ask each graduate to stand when your name is called. The 2022 academic honors, honors are awarded to graduating students whose cumulative academic records reflect levels of highest distinction, high distinction, and distinction. Summa cum laude, Nathan Quello. Magna cum laude, Madeline Dobson. Amber Dombrowski. Chase Dorn. Kyleen Hernandez. Brandon Payne. And Samantha Taubman. <laughs> Cum laude, Tyler Angelini, Marley Aulis, Dina Gawad, Stephanie Gorman, <laughs> Delaney Kennedy, Nolan Kistler, Alicia Light, Jessica Marcella, Andy Munoz, Alyssa Ohanesian, Jocelyn Perez, Arthur Ramirez, Catherine Taylor, Oan Tran and Arden Williams. Congratulations to all of you. It's an honor and a privilege to be here with you today as your interim dean. I've watched this school grow for the last 15 plus years. But one thing that has remained constant is how wonderful our students are. Year after year, whether as a clinical professor, a doctrinal professor, an associate dean, and now interim dean, my experiences with you, our students, in class, in meetings, events, 
in any context have been extraordinary. It's especially meaningful to, for me to be with here with the class of 2022 uh, because this year marks a halfway point for me. Um, I have spent exactly half my life as a lawyer this year. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a great honor and joy for me to be here with you today, sending you off into your career in the law. I'm incredibly proud of your accomplishments. Surviving 1L year, getting jobs and externships in your 2L year, and now as 3Ls, passing selected topics. I met some of you back in 2019, several months before your 1L year started at the events that we hold for our admitted students. Dean Cruz often begins those events by giving the group some statistics about the incoming class. How many are from out of state? What percentage were student athletes and undergrad? What percentage are first generation law students, et cetera? And I'd like to do something similar today and just give you an idea of what a strong, motivated, sure to succeed class you are. So the number of you, number of graduating students who were fellows or big siblings mentoring other students, 81, 54% of you. The number of hours you contributed to pro bono public service or government positions, 350 hours. The number of students that were involved with leadership positions on student organizations, 71 or 43% of you. The number of students involved with competition teams, 45. The number of students involved with symposia and journals, 50. And I wanna point out a special number here, the number of you um, who are not only involved with um, journals, but who published, six. That's an extraordinary accomplishment. This class didn't just graduate law school. You owned it, you made it yours. You did things that you couldn't have, had, have anticipated when you first came onto campus, whether it was for an admitted student event or for orientation. That's a huge accomplishment and I congratulate each and every one of you. With this class, I was in my second year uh, serving as associate dean and I only taught one class, civil procedure. <laughs> so I had the joy of being a 1L professor to a third of this graduating class. Hopefully when you remember worldwide Volkswagen and international shoe, and you will, oddly enough, those cases will stick in your head. You will also remember me one thing I told track one that year and that I tell to my students every year is that grades don't define you as a lawyer. They never will. They may present challenges and opportunities. They may annoy you or gratify you, but they will never define you. What you do as an attorney, how you treat your colleagues and clients and adversaries and staff, that is what will define you. And I know from the three years we've had together that you will be kind, you will be ethical, you will be respectful and professional. You will own your career like you owned law school, whether you're representing a multinational corporation or impoverished children you will do it in a way that makes the legal profession stronger, that makes our society more unified, that makes our lives collectively better. I am proud to call each and every one of you alumni and colleagues. I hope you enjoy your career in the law as much as I have been enjoying mine. And I wish you many happy years as officers of the court, members of the bar, members of the legal profession. Congratulations, class of 2022. Now it's my privilege to introduce the provost 
and Chief Academic Officer of Chapman University, Dr. Norma Bouchard. Thank you, Dean Chancharulo. I can tell you how pleased I am to confer on these distinguished graduates the Chapman degrees they have worked so hard to earn. In the 160-year history of Chapman University, perhaps no class has ever been better prepared to meet the challenges and opportunities before them. Many of you have received distinguished honors. Others are the first in your family to earn a university degree. All have had success through incredibly challenging times. I congratulate each of you, as I do everyone who supported you along the way. I look forward to celebrating the myriad of ways that you will make a difference in the world as global citizens. No matter where you go, you can take all that you have experienced and learned from with you. We hope that you will return often to reconnect with us as cherished members of the Chapman family. You are always welcome here. We shall now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees. Each candidate has been approved by the faculty and the Board of Trustees to receive the degree indicated in the program and on their diploma, subject to the completion of all requirements. And now, will the candidates for, from the Fowler School of Law please step forward? Congratulations to the Class of 2022. I'm Aaron Fluellen, class of 2004 and president of the Chapman University Alumni Board of Directors. It gives me great pride to welcome you to a very special community of Chapman graduates who are spread out around the world. The Alumni Association is dedicated to providing support, assistance and engagement opportunities to help each of you make the most out of your alumni experience. We've made a promise to help you stay connected to Chapman and to each other to give you a valued voice in the life of the university, to celebrate your successes and milestones, and to provide programming and services to help you make the most out of your alumni experience. We each are responsible for maintaining our connection to the university in order to take advantage of these benefits. I encourage each of you to find ways to stay connected. As you step off the stage today, members of our alumni board will be handing you an alumni license plate frame. Staying connected can be as simple as putting your license plate frame on your car or updating your contact information with the Alumni Association. Not only will we be able to let you know about opportunities to stay involved, but your parents will appreciate not receiving your mail for the next five years. As you leave here today, I want you to think about a phrase I'm sure you're all very familiar with, I am Chapman. You now join an alumni network with more than 50,000 graduates around the world we are Chapman. We want to welcome you. We want to network with you. We want to help you land your next job or show you around a new city. We are a Panther family and we're here to assist you in any way that we can. Graduates, I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you and welcome you to the we of the Chapman Alumni Association. Congratulations. Jennifer Lynn Magistrali. Samantha M. Beerson. Ellery Kathleen Hernandez. Ludmila Y. Hovsepian. Yeah. 
Alexandra Lane. Nika Zaha Said. Jordan Law. Ariana C. Camera. Hannah Christina Poplowski. Macy M. Margosian. Skyler L. Hoy. Matthew Preston Rosa. James John Michael Dewey. Tanner Elder. Kerry Grant. Marley Nicole Aulis. Kyla Hannah Buenaventura. Julissa Ann Cortez. Lynn Lee. Jocelyn Perez. Nagin Chloe Jalali. Lisa Marie Duffy. <laughs> Kathleen M. Wasnicki. <laughs> Jenna Akers. Barry Lee. Carmen I. Vera. Michelle A. Hampson. Catherine E. Taylor. Arthur Ramirez. Jose Luis Martinez.
Lewis Nathaniel Jameson. Emily Ann Mitchell. Garrick Falk. Jack M. McMiniman. Alexandra D. Romano. Allison Markey. Alyssa Ohanessian. Mackenzie Gray. Matthew G. Birnat. Jacob J. Johnstone. Patrick B. Zulweta. Brett J. McClay. Owen Kim Tran. Dina Gawad. Valentina E. Escobar. Sarah Shabazi. Andrea Abigail Rodriguez. <laughs> Jessica Trin. <laughs> Jenny Moon. Alexis Ann Philpot. <laughs> Kaylin May Grantham. <laughs> Fiona Jean Murphy. Tyler Scott Kanoff. <laughs> Jacob Ellenhorn. <laughs> J. 
Julia S. Knox. Cassandra Colleen Goldberg. Tigran Babayan. Carolyn J. Clark. Summer Ann Young. Cynthia Gomez Cervantes. Andrew Serega. Brendan Gardner. Leah Sargisyan. Jamie May Luce. Chandra Wright. Parshant Mabubari. Pedro J. Moncayo. Charles H. Lewis. Matthew C. Murphy. Amir Farahani. Clint Darrell Jones. Ryan Barham Esfahani. Jessica Ariana Marcella. Annika Singh. Carrie Wilhelm. Tristan Allen Kerno. Callista L. McCauley. Lydia Marie Etters. Stephanie Eleanor Gorman.
Owen G. Orkill. Alex Vandenberg. Rewa Samir Osman. Elizabeth Marley Infa Kim. Romina Zerenbo. Timothy T. Hunt. Erica N. Mullen. Andy Munoz. Cheyenne Meston. Michael Solino Quintiliani. Brian John Wheat. Nathan Quello. James W. Fisher, the second. Joshua Ernesto de la Cruz. Alexander Antonio Pineda. Brandon N. Payne. Xinue Liu. Sharon Stephanie Perez. Jonathan Samergian. Aiden Dory. Kenny to Tran. James Harvey. Jonathan Z. Taylor.
Carter Eugene Irwin. Aaron D. Bustos. Tyler Angelini. Andrew I. Cho. Nolan Bartlett Kistler. Mackenzie Virginia Peace. Oz Morgan. Sarah Catherine Ross. Alexandra C. Gandera. Amber Dombrowski. Caroline K. Nam. Michael Anthony Serme. Marisa June Samuelson. Madeline Kendall Dobson. Hannah Josephine Smith. Kyleen Hernandez. Shayna Berger. Samuel Unessi. Nicholas Legrand Jaber. Jacob Rivera. Amanda Ann Ashworth. Nadine Farah. <laughs> Madeline Weigel. Chase Autumn Dorn. Zachary Law. Sean 
Sean Patrick Gallagher. Matthew Lozano. Nicholas Andrew Rodriguez. Kevin Michael Metten. Alicia Light. Samantha Emily Tubman. Matthew French. Dylan Hughes. Christopher Wade Peterson. Jenna Marie Hu. Alexandra Coronado King. Carter Ryan Henry. Irene Naoko Bloxham. Brittany Alicia Cho. Claire J. Damon.
congratulations again to the graduates. We are so proud of you. I invite all the graduates to turn now and show their appreciation to the people who've helped to make this moment possible. <laughs> Before we adjourn, I just want to remind the graduates and, and their families to stop by Kennedy Hall to take some pictures, have a toast, um, and just enjoy the company of each other and your families and, and professors. I look forward to seeing all of you over there. And with that, I just want to say congratulations again to the class of 2022. This concludes the commencement exercise at Chapman University. Please remain in your seats until the Grand Marshal, Platform Party, faculty, and students have exited the field. Thank you.